to another Technique Tuesday. Before we start, just a quick reminder that if you like what you see and are interested in learning proper exercise technique, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the exercise technique videos. Also, if you have any questions, ask them down in the comments section and we'll either respond to you directly in the comments section or answer your questions during our weekly Sunday Q&A. Alright, time to demonstrate the exercise. The exercise we will be demonstrating for you will be the backward step overhead dumbbell lunge. To perform the backward step overhead dumbbell lunge, place a pair of dumbbells on the floor next to your feet. Stand with your feet hip width apart with your feet pointing straight ahead. Squat down by flexing your hips and knees and grasp a pair of dumbbells with a neutral grip and stand up and press the dumbbells directly overhead so that the dumbbells are in line with your shoulders. This will be your starting position. Inhale as you take an exaggerated step directly backward with the lead leg. Keep your torso erect and arms tight as the lead foot moves backward and contacts the floor. The front foot, or forward leg, remains in its starting position, but as the lead leg moves backward, balance shifts to the heel of the front foot and the front knee flexes slightly. Plant the lead foot with the toes pointing straight ahead and placing the lead foot directly backward from its starting position to maintain balance, keeping the front ankle, knee, and hip in one vertical plane. Once balance is shifted to both feet and you are stable, flex the front knee to lower the lead knee toward the floor. Make sure your torso stays erect, your shoulders are held back, the dumbbells are directly over your shoulders, and your head is facing forward as you sit back on the lead leg. Ideally, the lead knee should be one to two inches from the floor with the front knee flexed approximately 90 degrees, the front shin perpendicular to the floor, and the front foot flat on the floor. Exhale as you shift the balance forward to the front foot and forcefully push off the floor with the lead foot by planter flexing the ankle of the lead foot and by extending the lead knee and front hip joints while maintaining a vertical torso position. As the lead foot moves forward toward the front foot, balance will shift back to the front foot. Move the lead foot back to place it next to the front foot, approximately hip width apart, and maintaining an erect torso, just as you were in the starting position. Regarding tempo, there will be four numbers which will determine the speed of the movement. The first number is going to be the eccentric portion, or the lowering phase of the movement. The second number is going to be the pause at the bottom of the movement. The third number is going to be the concentric portion, or the lifting phase of the movement. And the fourth number is going to be the pause at the top of the movement. Therefore, a tempo prescription of 5010 will require you to lower the weight for 5 seconds and immediately lift the weight for 1 second without resting at the bottom or top of the movement. A tempo prescription of 3210 will require you to lower the weight for 3 seconds, rest at the bottom position for 2 seconds, and lift the weight for 1 second without resting at the top position. A tempo prescription of 4021 will require you to lower the weight for 4 seconds, lift the weight for 2 seconds without resting at the bottom, and rest for 1 second at the top of the movement before performing the next repetition. A tempo prescription of 2121 will require you to lower the weight for 2 seconds, rest at the bottom position for 1 second, lift the weight for 2 seconds, and rest at the top position for 1 second before performing the next repetition. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the exercise technique videos. And if you have any questions, ask them down in the comment section, and we'll either respond to you directly in the comment section, or answer your questions during our weekly Sunday Q&A. Keep fit, have fun, and we'll see you again next week.